Hey guys, this is Zacho X, and today I'm going to go over the property page. Um, this is going to be making your own property uh, file because the property page file because you don't have you don't want to use the same properties like um, like the ones I was using earlier, like a string or a back color. You want you want to kind of create your own and make it change a little bit. So I'm going to show how to do that. I'm going to go to standard exe, hit OK, and the first thing we're going to do is add a user control hit open and then I'm going to add a property page and just hit open okay in the user control you need to make a property so what I'm going to do here is let's just create our own property kind of show quicker view code option explicit private um, string whatever as string and then public property get whatever as string public property let whatever string new value as string okay so whatever is going to equal um, string whatever and then here it's going to be string new value or excuse me string whatever equal to okay and then you're going to have your property changed here call property changed and we're going to have our two statements Oh, whoops, we need to get out of that first user control so we can pull them up. Initialize properties. Um, read properties. And write properties. Let's read this stupid initialize. And let's maximize this for a minute. Okay, we're going to move this. Initialize string whatever to equal. Oops, excuse me. Mistyped whatever. Okay. And then here, um, I went over in a video again. You need to have this for um, the property that changes in the closure program. Um, it'll save those changes, so you have to go back to the video to watch that. Um, do it right now. What we're going to do is go right into the property page. Now, the way the property page is going to look, um, this rectangle, which I'm going to put something here so you can see, and I'm going to give this a different color. This is this is where you can modify things and or uh, your controls you put on your controls here or whatever. Um, let's use a text box just because it's easier. Get rid of this. Um, what's going to happen in the property page is going to have an o, o, OK cancel and apply right about here um, when we run the programs, or excuse me, when we try to use the new property through this. Um, oh, we're supposed to code in there. Go to view code on the property page. <clears throat> now I'm trying to remember. OK. Um, I'm going to pull up your property page. You have selection changed. You also need apply changes and oh, okay, that's correct. All right, so what about when the text box changes? that too. Close all this other stuff. Ay ay ay. Oh whoops, that's in the property page. Okay, so double click this. Alright, there we go. Alright. Um so apply changes is if, if they hit the apply. But what we need to do here, and let me explain this, is when you go to your user control, 
put this on the form so you can see. And string whatever. Um, usually you can select the property. We are right here. And for some of them, there is a button usually. Something like that, but it's a little different. I'll try and get one real quick to show you. Well, it's going to be like this. Here we go. And this is going to bring up your property page. Let me hit a button like this, but we have to bring the property page in. Um, so what we're going to do is, since we don't have, we're not using this property page yet, there's nothing to click here. But what I'm going to describe to you is the um, selected controls. What is selected is only this property. So the index is going to be zero. Now this is going to get a little crazy, a little confusing. Just try to remember this is the only thing selected. If I was selecting multiple properties um, in a way and I try to change them um, to the property page, then I need to say for all selected controls, um, change. So now that you kind of understand what I just said, we'll go in here and apply changes. So we're going to say selected control, those controls. There we go. Zero. Um, dot. And now you have to think about what property that you created. It was called whatever. Is equal to, we're going to say what's ever in the text box. Now when the selection changes, we need to have the text box change. Okay, now we got the change down here. If this changes, we want the um, apply changes to go off. So to do this, what you can do is property page dot um, changed equals true. And that will make that statement go off up here. Um, so that's very interesting. But we're going to go ahead and now we're going to assign this property page to a user control um, property called uh, whatever. So I'm going to show you here. Close this. Um, go in. Oh, okay. We got the user control selected. Now we go to tools, procedure attributes. Here's the property whatever. Go to advanced and use this property page in browser. We're going to use property page one, the one we created. Hit apply. Hit OK. Now we just linked the um, whatever property here it's a string to this property page. So now I need to show what is going on because some people might wonder what is a property page still. Um, so we've got our user control. We go down to whatever. Now as I click here, there's that button I was talking about. Now notice there's only one selected control here. The index of a selected control collection is zero. That's why I used zero earlier. Um, if I was doing different multiple pro properties, I have to loop through and change them all. So for now, I don't have to worry. Uh, okay. Object doesn't support this property or method. That's because we need to put dot whatever. <laughs> Good thing I debug that now, huh? Let it stop. Now we go to whatever and click here. Here's the property page. Move this for a second. See, I didn't draw up these things or that. Um, this is my background there, the green. And this is where I type. So we're going to put whatever. Hit apply. And as I do, you can see that it changed over here. Okay. Now I want to bring it up. Whatever. And you may ask, what the heck is this used for then? Because I could have just typed whatever right here. Well, basically, if you want to tie a bunch of properties together, property page would be pretty good. Um, also, if you want to, let's say, uh, map a network drive or map some kind of um, file somewhere, instead of typing it in because the user might be a dummy or something, we could make some more code here and make this um, show locations of files so that we could just click 
and as we hit apply it types the string down here for us so you can see how that would be a little bit useful but but really it's not that great in my opinion um, too much work but that's just my opinion so for now that's going to do uh, thank you for watching